with the Maryland women's lacrosse team trailing Navy midway through the second half of the team's NCAA tournament quarterfinal game, attacker Taylor Hens walked up to her roommate, attacker Megan Whittle, with a message. Whittle, the program's all-time leading scorer, went the first 49 minutes against the midshipmen without a goal. Start shooting the ball, Hens told her. Whittle listened. With 10.32 remaining, she tied the game with a three-position shot. She then scored two more goals in the next five minutes to give no. One seed Maryland its first lead of the second half, helping the Terps secure a 17-15 comeback victory and avoid a stunning upset. Whittle's late heroics clinched Maryland's 10th consecutive Final Four berth. Our Elite Eight matchups are always very difficult, every team is fighting, and the Final Four is going to be the same way, Whittle said. We love this. This is our goal. Last season, the Terps had to overcome an 11-7 second-half deficit to Stony Brook to win their quarterfinal game. This year, Navy attacker Julia Collins put the midshipmen in position to end Maryland's streak by tying her career high with eight goals while taking just 11 shots. The midshipmen defense also challenged a usually dominant Maryland offense, causing eight Maryland turnovers and holding it scoreless for nearly 10 minutes at the end of the first half, while Collins and the offense closed the period on a 5-0 run that gave Navy a 10-9 lead at intermission. The midshipmen extended its advantage to three goals twice in the second half, responding to Maryland's comeback efforts with goals of their own. But with Navy up 14-11 with about 14 minutes left, attacker Taylor Hentz scored to start a 6-0 Maryland run led by Whittle's quick hat trick. That flurry pushed Maryland to the Final Four, but it was midfielder Jen Giles who kept the team in the game in the earlier stages. She tied her career high with four goals and added three assists, while Hens and attacker Callie Hartshorn also had hat tricks. Giles, was phenomenal, coach Kathy Reese said. She just plays with so much heart. She loves this game, she loves the sport, she loves her teammates, she loves Maryland. Dot dot dot. Her passion really led the way for us all over the field today, seniors Hens and Whittle said they were especially motivated to get the win given that it was their last game at the field hockey. The Terps limited Collins in the second half by beginning to face guard her, a strategy Reese said her team rarely uses. It worked though, holding the senior to two goals after halftime after she scored six in the first half. Maryland will face Boston College, which clinched a 12-11 overtime win over Stony Brook, in the NCAA semifinals on May 25 at Stony Brook. The Terps defeated the Eagles, 16-13, in the national championship last year. The regular season was Season 1, Season 2 was the Big Ten tournament and Season 3 is making it to the Final Four in the national championship round, Whittle said. Very excited, but again, we have to take it a game at a time, a day at a time.